Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Black, and this week we're talking about policy formation, problems, agendas, and formulation. We want to delve deep into the intricacies of the public policy making cycle with our material, specifically focusing on the public problem identification, agenda setting, and the formulation of policy alternatives. We're going to be looking at an introduction to public problems, our policy agendas and their types, the agenda setting process, policy formulation and its actors, and we're going to end it up with technical aspects of policy formulation. So let's begin by talking about the public policy making cycle. This is um, a sequence of functional activities. This cycle is a journey from recognizing social issues to acting upon them. Every stage has distinct characteristics and retirement requirements while the initial stages don't always culminate in definitive decisions, they do determine which issues receive attention and which are sidelined. Think of this cycle as a roadmap that policymakers are going to follow. Each stage has its own challenges, stakeholders, and intricacies. The first two stages often don't lead to immediate decisions, but can shape the direction of the entire cycle. Public problem identification. Policymakers are continually inundated with conditions or problems. However, only a few qualify as really public problems, which merit wide scale attention. For a problem to receive this policy attention, it must have significant so suicidal consequences. It's also important to note the various dimensions <clears throat> of these problems as understanding them is going to help dictate the approach taken to address them. So in a world of challenges, let's look at what classifies as a public problem. These are conditions creating widespread dissatisfaction or needs, prompting the need for governmental intervention. <coughs> Excuse me, intervention. For instance, rising unemployment may necessitate government policies. Policymakers must consider various dimensions of these problems, like um, causation and severity, with fur which further complicate the solution finding process. So now let's talk about policy agenda. <clears throat> Not every public problem is going to make it to the agenda. With um, finite resources policymakers need to prioritize. A systematic agenda is like a universe of issues being discussed, but not all are ripe for the action. Contrast this with an institutional agenda, and the issues here are more likely to see government action. Given the countless problems, how do policymakers decide which ones to address? This selection process forms the policy agenda. The systematic agenda is broad, encompassing many issues that are discussed within, the, within a community, but not all see governmental action. In contrast, the institutional agenda is more definitive, and the issues here are seriously considered by political officials and are more likely to result in concrete action. So let's talk more about the agenda setting process. As I just said, not every problem is going to make it to the agenda. So let's talk more about um, how a, prob a public problem actually moves on to the agenda. It's not merely, as I said, about the significance of the problem. Various factors from political leadership to media attention can play a role. We have to consider uh, forces working to keep issues off the agenda. Agenda setting is in many ways like a battleground of interest. Moving a public problem onto the agenda is multifaceted. Factors influ influencing this include <clears throat> support from interest groups, decisions from the Supreme Court, media coverage, and even external events like crises. But remember, some issues 
might be intentionally excluded or might fade away due to changing society conditions or a shift in public opinion. So the public policy making cycle is a stu structured sequence that policymakers follow and they are addressing the issues and formulating actionable solutions. The process involves identifying problems, setting the policy agenda, and then creating alternatives. We're going to take an in-depth look at how the public problems gain attention and how this translates into actionable policies. Let's talk about policy formulation. Once it's on the agenda, it's time to draft potential solutions. This stage is about weighing options and proposing actionable plans. Policymakers need to consider effectiveness, budget implications, political feasibility, and public reception when formulating these policies. And more solutions can also include generating a range of policy alternatives from minor tweaks to existing policies to introducing entirely new ones. So policy formulation requires considering the practicality, financial impl impl implications, as I talked about above, and as well as the political landscape. An issue's presence on the agenda, though, doesn't guarantee any action. Sometimes policymakers might just choose inaction or even fail to reach a consensus. So now we're going to talk about the actors that are actually involved in the policy formulation at the national level. Policy does not get formulated in a vacuum. Various actors can influence, can and do influence its creation. The president, for instance, often sets the tone for major policy shifts, but we also can see significant input from administrative agencies with specific expertise. Interest groups, too, play a crucial role, often bringing detailed policy options to the table. Crafting legislation requires meticulous attention to detail. It's not just about addressing the problem, but ensuring the solution is workable and free from unforeseen loopholes. Poorly drafted legislation can lead to unintended consequences or fail to have the desired impact. The policy formulation arena is crowded. The U.S. President, due to the high office's nature, plays a prominent role in the major policy directions, but specialized administrative agencies leveraging their expertise, as I was saying a little just a minute ago, they also contribute significantly. Furthermore, legislatures backed by their increased resources and interest groups that have special agendas are deeply involved in shaping policy alternatives. We're going to finish up by talking about the technical aspects of policy formulation. Beyond conceptualizing, the actual drafting of legislation is a meticulous task. The language and structure must be clear to avoid potential misunderstandings, unintended loopholes, or unfavorable judicial interpretations. The, the drafted policy should align with the original agreed principles to ensure effective impl implementation. As we wrap it up, wrap it up Remember that policy making, making isn't a linear, straightforward process. It's shaped by the various actors, the interests, and challenges. Today's insights are, are foundational to understand subsequent stages of the policy cycle. Public policy making is intricate. The journey from recognizing an issue to actually formulating potential solutions involves multiple stages, multiple actors, and many considerations. The complexities of the initial stages set the tone for the entire cycle, highlighting the need for careful deliberation and action. Well, that's all I have for this. Um, if anybody has any questions, please post them um, in the discussion forum, and I'll address them so that all can see the answer.